that make lion be your friend. When they throw you in the fire, you not get burned. But the person who threw you in die. Father, today I lift my heart unto you. And I say, Abba, Father, wash me from the crown of my head unto the sole of my feet. And I say this to back home in Canada. The Lord will work it out. He will work it out because I will never let go of his unchanging hands because I know where I'm coming from. And I will never forget where I'm coming from. And I know that greater is in me than he that is in the world. And it's the same thing goes for you here who is under the sound of my voice and those of us in internet land. Just remember, when they say no, God say yes. When they say you're not come to nothing good, God remind them you are a prince and you're a princess because he's a king. And that king is our father. Thank you, Jesus. I say it again, that king is our father. We are God's property. We are not property of Satan. We are not property of unbelief. We are not property of luck. We are not property of wants. But we are property of the true and living God. The true and living God who died on the cross for us. So we can be here today to call upon his mighty name. I thank God for Reverend Dr. Bishop Owens and his wife. I thank him for holding the fort. In spite of everything, he stand for Christ. And today I, I just have two little parts of scripture to talk because there is not much I can say to you that he has not re been already said because he's speaking the truth of God and the truth of God is the truth of God. There is no way around it. There is no way around it. I cannot duplicate what he's doing. I cannot imitate what he's doing. But I can just say, if we trust in God and hold on to his unchanging hands, there is nothing that we cannot do that will not prosper if we trust God. We must trust God. Trust his word and live in his liberty because his liberty is what's going to set us free. And his grace is sufficient to take us through everything. Everything we are going through. Today, if you need a job, the grace of God will allow you to get the job and keep it. Today, if you are going through marital problem, the grace of God will keep you. Children, if you are going through peer pressure, the grace of God will keep you. Every time the peer pressure come upon you, just remember you're a child of God. And you're a child of God. The God we serve is a king. And that king reign forever. And with that king, the king reign supreme over everything. We, the enemy, cannot. It's not every and any king. It's not king that set up funny plans and, 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 and reign supreme and enslave us. This king give us liberty. Our father Jesus give us liberty. And I can tell you about liberty. I can tell you about where God can take you from, from to where you is. I dropped out of school in grade five and nobody tried to see me go back to school. And both my parents was alive. But God, he kept me. 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 Oh God, I've gone through the valley of shadow of death so many times. And he kept me. I grew up on the street between Kingston and St. Andrew. And I pick up bottle to eat food tomorrow. I pick up bottle to eat food in the afternoon. And what the food is? Some flour and a quarter stick of butter. But God. They told me I would never come out to nothing good. I was the first one that traveled. 
I want to say to you again, don't give up on yourself. Hold on to Jesus. If you don't hear nothing more, I say, no matter all this, the, the even and broken pieces you're going over. Even and broken pieces you're going over. The Lord will work it out. Don't take one another for granted. We all gone through something, but use it for the benefit of serving God. He will make you glow. He will make you glow. Oh God of mercy. I just I, I just say it, 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 in this is a favorite scripture that we read. It says, For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Shall not perish. I want to just talk to you a little bit. About whosoever. I am a whosoever. I am a whosoever. I was rejected and abandoned. I am a whosoever. And God Hallelujah. always speaking in my ears. Sometimes when I don't never even listen, I never know what the, 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 the voice of God sounds like. He was telling me, I will work it out. I did not understand that. First, I would stay on the outside looking in the church and looking in the church and looking in the church and making fun. But he was saying, I die. This whosoever, once you love God, you will not perish. I am a whosoever. And if you want to look at yourself, you look where you're coming from, you will know if you are a whosoever or what. Because he said he died that whosoever. We can forget every other thing. Just look at what they call whosoever. That whosoever. Some people repeat it and they recite it and it sounds like a joke and thing like that. But I am telling you, brothers and sisters, we are all who accept Christ. We are all whosoever. Don't, don't cast that word. Don't push it aside. Just remember, you humble yourself and come to that place and say, I am a whosoever. Who Jesus died for. Because if you are not a whosoever, he did not die for you, so you cannot accept the promise. I am saying, we are whosoevers. And we, once we accept it, we will never perish. No matter how people don't cast you, push you aside, you will overcome. You are an overcomer. And his grace is sufficient. No matter what's going on. You don't have a job. Your wife giving you a problem. Your children giving you a problem. You live in a, in a era. Where you hear gunshot every time. And people are dying. But remember. Because you hold on to the unchanging hands of God. You are a overcomer. You are a overcomer. And if you don't hear nothing else that I say today, remember, you are a overcomer. We are a overcomer. I have to tell myself and remind myself, I am a overcomer. Because I remember where I'm coming from. I remember I have to sleep in the whole cars, whole houses. Yes, I hear the shots are firing. But you know something? The Lord kept me. And his grace preserved me. Maybe you might say, I'm not going in the Bible or reading something of the Bible. But believe me, brothers and sisters, my life is the living Bible. I'm not perfect. And I'm asking you not to pressure yourself and destroy yourself because the Lord is not finished with you yet. He's still working on you. Don't let nobody tell you who you should be. Know who you are in Christ. I'm going to say it again because a lot of people want to size you up, tell you what to wear, what to drink, where you should live, where is. But remember, the Lord is grace, is sufficient. 
and you and we all are prince and princesses, the littlest to the eldest. But we must recognize whom we are in Christ. Never, never miss it. Whom we are in Christ. As I'm saying before, I am a whosoever. Because I remember. I know where I'm coming from. I know the things I have gone through. And I am telling you this today because I want you to hold on. Hold on to Christ. Hold on to him. Yes, there are rough times are coming. But even the midst of the storm is there. And if you have a little faith, you can walk on the water. Don't allow anyone to tell you who you are. Listen to Christ. Listen to his word. Hold on to his unchanging hand. Never let it go. Some people might say, oh, oh, God is this. Where is God? Where is he? He's right there. But you're not listening. We are not listening. But if we listen, we will hear and make the right decisions we need to make. But one of the decisions I'm telling you to make today is to hold on to his unchanging hands. Never let go. Because he will not let you go. He's the God of Daniel. He's the God of the three Hebrew boys. He will make lion be your friend. Just imagine they throw you in the den. And they're looking for you to be destroyed. And when they wake up the lion. Hug you up and make you warm. That's the God I'm talking about. That's the God I'm talking about. That's the God I'm talking about. And I want us to get it in. Get it in. That he's the conquering lion and the tribe of Judah. And believe me. He's our God. As long as we accept him. He will never leave us. He will never leave us. I want I, I just I just want us to humble ourselves and don't look at whosoever as nothing. We are whosoever who Christ died for. And because he died for us, he didn't commit no sin of his own, but he died for us because he loved us. So if nobody else loves you today, just remember that Jesus Christ loves you. So he died for you. He died for you. And because he died for you, he will raise you upon wings of eagle. He will make you soar. When they want to see you down, Jesus say, hop. When they want to see you breaking, God, God say, you're a hole in my sight. I just want to encourage us today to remember our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, are the reason why we're here. And his grace no matter what they bring at you God's grace is sufficient you're feeling a pain that you don't even know why am I feeling this pain God's grace is sufficient to move it if we have a little faith brothers and sisters I love God and he loved me before I love him I did not know him. There was a point in my life when I did not know him. And even when I know him, I slip and slide and I fall down and roll over and I get up back. But when you slip, don't allow anybody to take you down. Because when Jesus was going with the cross, he fall down. You will find one person to help you up. He will find one person to help you up when you slip. And I'm asking us, don't condemn one another. Don't give up on one another. Hallelujah. I'm just giving you the giving. I'm just putting all these nuggets and I'm chewing them out. Because I want us to hold on to God. I want us to not leave this place. I want us to just talk and even the gunman come in here and put down his gun. The thief will repent. Oh God, the prostitute will repent. The liar will repent. The thief will repent. Oh my God, the backbiter will stop. And we are enough in the church backbiting. We are a lot. We all do it before we know Christ. And even when we know Christ, we still do it. Let's not judge one another. God is the ultimate judge. Let us love one another. That's our purpose. Just like this building purpose is to keep us out of the sun. 
Our purpose is to love one another. No matter what. God never says you should love the person when they are good to you. He even go and say, if you love the person who is good to you, he said the sinner do it too. They do it too. But God is a God that never changes. He never changes. I want to read three verses out of Psalms 92. Because it it ministers to me. Psalm 95. And I just want to read a couple of verses out of it because I want us to know that we, our father is a king over all kings. All kings. Every other king bow to him. Every other king bow to him. And we must come into the house of God with thanksgiving. Come in with praise. Worship him. Oh my God, leave our burden outside. Come in that when we pass our burden, we say, you feel later. We have to pass our burden. We leave it outside. And come in and let, let readers illuminate. And in order to do that, we must accept the word and know that his grace is sufficient. So when you drop your burden, when you pass him, you say, you feel later. Hallelujah. Psalms 95, I want to read a couple of verses. I thank you, Jesus. How come let us sing to the Lord? Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Uh, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with, with psalms. For the Lord is the great God. And the great king above all kings. I want to stop there. I feel good in Christ. I feel great in Christ. And I'm telling you, I don't want none of you to give up on yourself. Hang on to Jesus. When I dropped out of school at grade five, I have a brother and a sister that is seven years younger than me. And that full seven year I spend taking care of them because my mother do stop in work. I remember one day my neighbor said to me, why are they doing it like this? Why? And she take the children and say, go to school. They come for me and they beat me inside of the schoolyard. They beat me there. I did not know the value of education until I come up and I start to see people and I'm looking and I say, whoa, what, what's going on here? Brothers and sisters, don't give up on yourself. Trust God. I am pouring out to you and everyone in the internet land. I'm not afraid. But God, the Lord has done great for me. The Lord has lifted me up. The Lord has taken me through. He crosses me over Jordan and he has the same for you. Just hold on. You fall on, get up. Just trust him with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. In all of the things that happen to you, acknowledge God because He's never far. We are the ones who are hears are hard. But even though our ears are hard, His arms is open wide and say, Come, my child. He's never too busy. He there for you and me. Let us love one another. Let us love one another. When I start to find out what, what, what life was and I said, you know something, what is this? I, I, I start to go to Jamal. But then I start having children. So now I have Jamal and responsibility. You know what's going to take place. 
And I am telling you, brothers and sisters, children under the sound of my voice, go to school. Parents love your children in spite you don't accept the way they're behaving. Pray for them. Speak good over them. Every time you hope in your mouth, even if they are wayward, never put wayward upon them, but put the grace of God upon them. The same thing for your wife. The same wife who you want to throw the pot through the window, you want to throw out with the pot, you want to throw out with everything. But remember the days when you were, when you were sh 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 two peas in a pod. I'm saying because I have my full share and lack of understanding, take me out. But you don't have to be that. The same thing that you get to get the wife, use it to keep him. I'm talking to men. The same thing you see in the man then, use it. Don't tell him how worthless he is and how lazy he is. Because if he overworks, you see him, I'm going to complain. You're going to have something to complain about. So feed him, take care of him, so he can be what you want to be. Help him to work. Teach him how to work smart. And husband, you need to listen. And I am saying it because today is just a nugget day. I just want to share that because I want some lives to change. I want some people to get stronger. I need some people to get stronger in their relationship. And husband, when you used to go look for the girl, you put on the best cologne, the nicest clothes, your teeth brushed to the max, you know, go with, but now you get her, you go to your bed, you know, brush your teeth, you know, wash it. But you want to kiss and you want to hug up. And you no, the same thing you take, get her, use it to keep her. I love my brothers. And I am saying, nobody teach me anything. It's trials and error. So today I'm giving you something that you don't have to pay for. If the wife not wearing the color on your want, go buy it. The perfume. If your husband not wearing the perfume, no smell for me and say you want to smell like me. Go buy it for him. Ask me when me buy. Brothers and sisters, I just want us to be strong because we are falling down in the kingdom. People are falling down because nobody want to speak the truth. We nobody want to speak the truth. Brother, when the wife get a little bit older, buy her a good body wash because everybody's skin, everybody smells different when you're getting older. You look different. You deteriorate. Buy better body wash. Forget about the soap. Please, please don't stone me. I am... I'm just a messenger of God. And I'm just saying what the Lord lay in my heart. I, want, I would love when I leave here, everybody is stronger. Because re the church without good relationship is a ruined church. And the relationship starts in your house. I'm just saying I'm going through a situation right now. You cannot love Pastor Ho and mourn your husband. Do you hear what I'm saying? You cannot love Bishop Owens more than your husband. It is wrong. 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 You have to take out the pretty plate for your husband, not for pastor. You have another pretty plate for him. The gold fork and the gold for you happy ever set for your husband. Not only when pastor come, you're taking all the pretty, pretty plate and the pretty pot. I have seen it, and I have seen many homes destroy. We cannot do that. We must take care of our home. 
and husband, husband, even though you see the sister look fresh. Remember, so your wife was looking fresh too. And no two women are the same. Everybody deteriorate. This young pretty one you see, I'm going to deteriorate, deteriorate too. And brothers, let's stay in our lane. Let's stay in our lane. Because you want to throw away your whole broom and go pick up the new broom. Brother, you're biting off more than you can chew. Let us stay in our lane. Let us love one another. You can admire somebody, but don't carry them home in your heart. They don't belong to you. Man and women, they don't belong to you. You have your eyes here. Yes, you can look. Go high shopping, but not heart murmuring. He will kill you. Let us love one another. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, if I, if I offend anyone, I, that's not what I mean to do. I just want us to just live. And I am so full up with these things, and I see it happen so much. And so many lives are being destroyed. And so many marriages are broken down. Because sometimes pastor, even when the wife go to pastor, he take what the wife say and throw the husband aside. It is wrong. Pastor, you have no right. You need to tell it to them together. Bishop, you know I'm not messing with. I'm just. Call the two of them together. Talk to one minute for five minutes so you can get a feel of what's going on. And call another one for another five minutes. And get, then you call the two of them together. Because then we tell you what you want to hear. Bishop, I have more time. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, all I have wanted to do is for us to be stronger. I want us to be stronger. Just in our relationship. Because if we have strong relationship together, we will have better church. I sit one place for 20 something years. 20 something years. I learn a lot too. But I get a lot of beaten. You know why? I said, why can't we talk the truth? What is wrong with the truth? Let's do the truth. Don't take Pastor Owens and Pastor Owens. Oh, I love the wife more. Or I love the husband more. No, you want to split them up. Love them both. God, they, they, they come in to be one. Husband, your wife is not complete. You come in too. And that coming too, they don't meet some things that you don't understand. And when you don't understand, quick to hear, slow to speak. And you will be better off. Nobody tell me I learned the hard way. And I'm giving it out for free. Right now. We can have better lives. Children, listen to your parents. Not because you can use the computer better than them. That doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful to them. Help them. That's why they say, Donkey have Kobe. I'm not calling you guys Donkey, but it's just a saying. They say, Donkey have Kobe to help him carry load. I'm talking to children now. Children. Love your parents. Oh, I love my mother more than my father. Without one, you couldn't, without one or the other, you could not be here. Trust me. Even if they make you in a spoon, you come from your father. Even if they make you in a laboratory, you come from your father. Without the father, that head cannot germinate. Children, love your parents. When your parents send you ask you for a cup of tea, don't suck your teeth. I I I have a I'm self-employed and I, I went into a house. And when I go in the house, I see on the door 
enter at your own risk. So I asked, who live here? I said, where's the parents? Oh, yeah, but that's my son room. I said, really? I come out and in my head, I'm saying, so who paid the bill there then? Enter at your own risk. Oh, not before you come in. I'm not saying you should barge into your kids, but if you're going to write up that on my door, one of us have to leave. Respect your parents, no matter how holy he is. I am going on when I go, when I there, I see the, the, the Italians and the, the, the Indians and the Chinese and, and, uh, and uh, Sri Lankans. The kids then stay home until they're 40. But, but listen, I'm going to give you the food. When they come out, they buy a house. When they come out, they start a business. Whatever they see their parents doing, they get involved in it. So when the, when the parents moving out of the way, they're moving in. But when you go in the black community, you see five girls, four of them have strollers. It is, it is a lie from the pit of hell because we are prince and princesses. Girls, don't allow sweet words to take you away. Boys, don't allow nice Nike, Nike shoes and Nike jacket and these things to take you away. Because that only lasts for a moment. What your parents teach you is forever. If you keep it. What your friends are telling you is for a moment. And that moment sometimes land you in prison. The dead house. The wheelchair. Disobedient land you in wheelchair too. Prison. The dead house. God is spare me. God is spare me. Thank God for DNG and those battles that when, it, when, when dance night I, I pick up a lot and hide them because I have to buy some food. I remember that I run, I run race with the bird to get some hockeys in the morning because I'm going to sell some and I'm going to eat some. But today, I can buy the place where the hockey is. You can do the same thing too. And some people might call it, some people might call it show off or something. But let me, I know what it is to wear tear up trousers. I know what it is to barefooted. I have a bad toe now. Even though you see the shoes, it, a bad toe inside there where I buck off. And nobody take me to the doctor. It have no nail. Or when it grow the nail, it crooked. You have to take me to the beach for see. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for love and faith. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. And Minister Howens, you touched my heart this morning. You touched the deepest part of my heart. You touched my heart. And some of these things that are flowing out, it's because I get a reset just listening to you. And I hope somebody's life changed for the better. I hope somebody's life changed for the better. And I want to say before I leave, children, you are the, you are prince and princesses and the man and woman of tomorrow. Don't allow yourself to be pressured into anything. Don't let nobody tell you about your parents whole and your parents this. They are talking old fashioned thing. There's those old fashioned things strengthen you and keep you. The new fashion things destroy you. The new fashion things come from China. It's no good. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, they, they are fabricated stuff. These new talking. Listen to your parents. Listen to your parents. Listen to your parents. Your parents are authentic. The new things now come from China. They're not properly made. They look like a thing, but they are not the thing. And that's in the Bible. It's in one of those Psalms. They say the thing might look like a thing, but it's not the thing. 
So your parents have the new thing. Listen to your elders. Yeah. Listen to your elders. Every one of us. I love to sit down and listen to Reverend Owen speak. Because he's on the battlefield long before me. God, I want to listen to him all the time. But it's not me. I'm not alone. It's, I'm not the only one he has to talk to. Listen to your elders. Please, I'm asking you, listen to your elders. Read the Bible one verse at a time. Read the Bible one verse at a time. And you will be successful in Christ. Hold on to his unchanging hands. And may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest be and abide with all of you. All of us. Come on, I'll take and leave yourself out. All of us. That we will not walk in darkness and stumble, but we will walk in the light. Because we are sons and daughters of the king. That means we are prince and princesses. Be blessed. <music>